T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have a go for engine start. Zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia, reaching new heights for women in X-ray astronomy. You're getting a little bit better view of uh, Chandra out in front of the IUS there. Nothing as beautiful as Chandra sailing off on its way to work. Chandra now is going to give us another important tool. The bottom line is that I'm very happy to report it works. It works perfectly. Such strong variability has never been seen in other astrophysical jets. There is a lot of material out there between the galaxies that is very hot, but so incredibly diffuse that it simply had escaped detection before. What was unusual about this was that we saw very clearly a big region of extended emission in X-rays. So it's a big region glowing in X-ray light. It's taken the very fine focusing ability of the Chandra optics to be able to resolve that glowing blob of X-ray emission into these fine ripples. Using the Chandra X-ray Observatory, we can precisely measure the brightness and temperature of this gas, and from this work out the amounts of normal and dark matter. The key for the present discovery of the binary black hole was to use X-rays and to employ the unique capabilities of Chandra. The density of black holes that Chandra has found in the goods fields is quite spectacular. Chandra has continued to send back images that have revolutionized our view of the heavens. New knowledge about stars and galaxies and black holes that would surely have gratified Chandra himself. A rich reward for all the men and women scientists and engineers and managers and support staff who kept the faith across the decades.